While creating a new file, we select small objects millimeters. In this video, we will be looking at offset and how do you create offsets and the multiple options of offsets which are available in the command prompt. To start, I will create a control point curve, a rectangle and a polyline. So first, I start with a control point curve. We have already explained in the previous videos to complete any drawing either you, you press the space bar on the keyboard the enter or the right click. In this case I press the enter key. I select the control point curve. I can go to curve under curve you have offset or else in the command prompt you can also write offset. So for now under the curve I go to offset I again click on offset curve. We need to look at the multiple arguments which you have in the command prompt you have distance to corner sharp through point tolerance both the sides in C plane and cap none by default the cap is none the distance is over here 2 mm so when I zoom even though if you could click anywhere outside you have to be rest assured that the offset will only be 2 mm from the original line if you drag your mouse on the top the offset is created on the top if you drag the mouse below the offset will be created below that depends on you where do you want to create the offset so let's say to start with I want to create the offset downwards and I click so the distance between the original line and the new line which has been created has to be 2 mm you can see over here I select the offset line I hit a delete I again select this line this time I write offset in the command prompt instead of cap none I say cap flat there you go cap flat the distance is same 2 mm I again click you can see it has been joined but this time these corners are not round but you have flat corners you can see in the perspective view you would get a better idea I again select the line I again write offset this time again distance to the cap as round Previously it was flat and now I again click. You can look at the corners now. The corners are round. Previously it was flat. Let's take another example. Let's take the offset for a rectangle this time. I select the rectangle. I write offset. Now here we are dealing with corners. So for that reason I go to corner and I say I want it smooth. Again cap will be round at the distance of 2 mm and now I click. So you look at the corners, you have round corners. I do a control Z. I hit a space to repeat the previous command. Instead of smooth, this time I go for chamfer. Same round, I again click. So look at the chamfer. You have the chamfer edges. We have already discussed chamfer and fillet in the previous examples. Let's take another example. We have these lines. I again say offset. This time at a distance of 0 0.5 enter corners you do have sharp corners so you, you're looking at chamfer no I'm looking at say round and cap let's say I will say round again and I click so you see this the offset which is being created that basically will be curved let's take another example for offset I will select the outer rectangle and I will delete it for now. I will select this rectangle again. I again write offset in the command prompt. Now instead of me clicking and deciding the distance, I will click through point. When you say through point, you have the choice to decide where you want to basically take the offset. As you drag, the offset is created outside. If you drag inwards, the offset is created inwards depending on what you have selected in the command prompt. So for example, let's say my cap is round, my corners are smooth and let's say if this is the distance I want, for example, let's say I click over here. So that means that the rectangle is there and you have created an offset from this particular point. So this we have done with the option of through point which is there in offset. Let's go to the next example for offset. For this, we need to create a surface. I go to the sidebar, I create a surface 
in the top view so it's basically been created on the CP lane okay now we want to draw a curve let's say for example on the surface so I again go back to control point curve this time I need to select interpolate on surface why because you want to draw it on the surface so you click on this option it says start off curve so there you go since the surface was already selected it has understood that we want to create the curve over this let's say I press escape I click outside this time no surface has been selected I go to control point curve I again go to interpolate on surface this time it is asking me to select the surface to draw on so I need to select this particular surface and now it is telling me to start off curve so let's say I want to start over here and let's say this is the curve which I want to draw once I'm done right click so this particular line has been drawn on the surface now let's look at the other options which we have so I select the line I go to curve I go to offset the option which we were already seeing till now was offset curve so let's say offset curve on surface let's say you want to take a offset of this particular curve but it should be on the surface so I say offset curve on surface it will ask me to select the base surface which is your base surface now where do you want to create the offset so let's say if I say flip it will create the outer side if you say flip it creates on the inner side so you have these arrows one number if I say two it will create two offsets for me offset distance so let's say the distance of 0 0.5 enter so there you go at the distance of 0 0.5 you have created two offsets and both of them are on the surface if you see they are to the end point of the surface that generally happens when you create an offset let's say I again select the new curves I delete it I select the curve I select gumball because I want to move this particular object in the front view for example let's say I move it on the top so if you go to see now you have the surface and you have the curve so the next option which I want to show you is curve offset offset normal to surface that means you have a normal curve and you want to offset it over the surface I select the curve I go to curve I go to offset offset normal to surface select the base surface so I select the base surface now I have a prompt where do I want to go and place the offset so I zoom in and I properly click on that on the surface enter or pick a location which is already done enter so now if you see we'll be having two curves one already the original and the next curve will be on the surface there you go look at this so if you see in the perspective view you can see you have one curve on the surface and one curve up over here let's look at the next option which is blend curve I'll be taking two control point curves I won't be placing them very far from each other so I'll be placing them close to each other there you go now in the command prompt I'll write blend or else I could go to the curve menu under the curve menu I have blend curves so let's say if I do it from the menu I go into curve I go into blend curve quick blend curve select the first curve to blend and select the near end so that's the end point and then select the second so I go second one if you see you feel as if it's one curve but this is a different curve compared to these three so what if you want to join it you could press the shift select the three of them and you could simply write join and there you have the three curves join into one open curve because it's open at the bottom over here so I'll repeat the same thing I'll go to curve I'll go into blend curve quick blend curve first and second there you go I'll again select all three of them and I'll say join that's basically blend I'll again try this option to control point curves curve blend curve I go in for adjustable blend curve select the curve to blend 
so I'll be selecting the first curve selecting the second curve so here you see you have different options if you zoom this is the first point this is the second point if first point you say position you look it goes a little at a decline if you say tangency if you say curvature and you can say show curvature see this so right now I'll just close this I'll go back to position and then I can change this also both position 1 2 will be tangency curvature for the third curvature for the first G3 gives you more nodes G4 G3 and reset so I go back to position tangency so whichever you feel appropriate you can also say that you want to join it trim you can ok so that basically becomes one curve for you again go into curve blend curves arc blend select the first curve near end the first curve second curve the second curve so basically it's like an arc which is being drawn once I'm done I press enter there you go I can select all the three I can say join this time two curves join into one closed curve so in this basically we have seen blend blend is not join blend basically depending on the two curves it tries to match them as if they were built as one curve 